Yeah, it's. Uh, where, where are we? Usually, where are we? We're in Let's outer go. space. Yeah. We are in the uh, World Wide Web. Oh, there we are. Yeah, well, seven people watching now. Playing uh, here. Meg is over here. If Tex and the girl were team, I'm two, telling you, I'm kind of digging that. I just, for, I mean, it's fun. I'm kind of digging it because only because of what the sergeant said. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. But who would have been the first team, though, dude? Who would have been the first team? Oh, well, Lisa says happy belated birthday, Paul. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Yeah, yeah, Thanks yeah. very much. Oh, well, we got Johnny C is still awake. He's in the UK as well, guys. It's yeah, holy fuck. It's 30 a.m. here. So, yeah. Oh, my, oh my God, God, Johnny. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Oh, man. Nancy, how did you break your lamp? The, oh, it yeah. fell off when I, was, when I was charging it. It just fell off the arm oh, of the chair. Man. Well, yeah, I thought it, was, I thought it looked cool. It, it, the, it it's cracked, purple, yeah. right? It, well, you can make it change color. You can make oh, it go okay. through all the yeah. colors of the rainbow sort of thing. Yeah. But yeah, the most authentic looking one, you can kind of get it to glow orange. It sort of looks more like the moon then. Mm. Hopefully I can fix it. I haven't got enough to buy a new one at the moment, but they're quite easy to find on eBay or whatever, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Bunch but it's of actually things. a wanna... 3D print of the moon. It's actually, yeah, they're quite cool. You can get a little tiny one that you can hold in the palm of your hand and all that, yeah. And you just charge I... it off the USB on a computer. Yeah. Remote control. <laughs> just don't My get wife... a bad light set up like Paul's got going. Mine's yeah. amazing. Fuck you, Danny. This is <laughs> awesome. I'm gonna get um I'm gonna get another because I have Lampy, like uh, these yeah, two yeah. lamps that or uh, mm. these two lights on the ceiling here. Mm. I'm gonna get a couple other colors and shine another color down this way so it's like colors hitting each other. Oh god, oh, okay. make it look okay. real okay. fucked up. Because Sabian could have been the on on team one. Yeah. Well, they could have been the outside team. I think the girls and stuff from like the fact that that like their stuff was found inside i think if we're going team one is the inside <clears> team <throat> and i think tex and them would be the inside team i could see kasabian because she was outside and she said she was outside on right the lookout. Right. she right. could have been on team two outside which whoever could have shot fucking but tex well, but it doesn't matter if tex cop to they, it the bullet the matched thing the is gun and all. i mean it yeah. matched the gun so that's that's where that kind of falls apart at that point that part of it unless the police lied to us no okay subscribers <laughs> russian cam thought <laughs> capone you i cannot confirm but i cannot deny <laughs> so I yeah four it. subscribers i gained as well so welcome you nice. oh nice well done. I've oh, never God, smoked that's... American cigarettes. I don't think I've ever smoked. No, I think I have actually had Lucky Strikes, real Lucky Strikes. The filterless ones. Oh. I've had camels. Oh, well, they they filters, taste like uh, fucking somebody rolled up Lucky like farm dirt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at oh. Johnny. The red light district in Paul's shrine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, baby. <laughs> That's not the pink. That's the red, right? That's the red. That's well, the now red. it looks it's, more orangey. It yeah. looks, yeah, it looked a lot. It was more red why. during the show. You should go with pink. They have different colors on camera as well, don't they? The colors of that uh, moonlight, uh, moon lamp. I noticed didn't show up the same color as they were in real life. You know what I mean? On the camera, <laughs> it doesn't mm -hmm. look the same color. Go, go yeah. with like Danielle's shirt. Looks like a piece of bubble gum. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh man, American weed or British? American weed or British? Huh. Uh, it's, uh, Are, okay. Not it from Holland. Weed from Holland. Holland is the right. capital of the weed world, isn't it? They're where they do all the best. I was going to say, well, I don't want to be racist, world, but right? isn't the weed from both of those places shitty? Is that what I get? <laughs> How is that racist? I'm just yeah. joking. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. By the time it reaches anyone else, it's gone stale. Yeah. Yeah. Even yeah. in its 10,000 pounds of packaging. Yeah. There. Is that better? 
Oh man, yeah, now I'm like totally yeah. blue. I look like I'm I think dead. My grandma now. used to smoke. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. I think my grandma used to smoke Benson and Hedges. Is that a cigarette? Oh yeah, Benson oh, yeah. and they Hedges. Oh yeah, they sell them in the UK. One. Yeah, we have them. Like, is it oh, good? My God. Are they good? No. I don't know, dude. They're I was they're little. Terrible. I was like super yeah. little. I don't know. Yeah. They suck. They used, they, used have a gold box. they used to come in a gold box. Now they're not allowed yeah, to sell anything. They used to the come package. in a big ass gold box yeah, that my yeah, grandma yeah. used to buy. Them. Oh, boxes, okay. Yeah, yeah. You guys have JPS, John Player's special over there? Yeah, yeah. JPS. Oof, those butter, things. Butter. Yeah, if you ever want to put down a cow quick, just get them and yeah. blow one of those yeah. in their Paul, face. Paul, what's your favorite like... cigarette? When I was a kid? I don't know. No, when I you can't smoke or whenever. Yeah, when I when I, I was a kid was the only time different. I smoked cigarettes, and it was dude sixty five dollars a carton. That's crazy! Wow, was... dude. Uh -huh. Oh, what the fuck? I can't even remember. It was Daniel, so long ago. What do you ago. smoke? Do you not smoke? We're on camera. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> Due to what I do for employment, joke, I she... do not answer that type of thing. I was right. trying to set up a joke and she didn't answer. I said poll. Does that work? <laughs> Does that like and subscribe, Danny After Dark? Yeah, exactly. Uh, yep. Palm Oil Menthol. Palm Oil, yeah, we have Palm Oil in this country as well, yeah. And Mayfair cigarettes as well. Sounds very London-esque, doesn't it? Yeah. Have you, Nancy, have you ever heard of a channel, a YouTube channel called Mr. Ballin? He's I a, think uh, so. Yeah, he's an ex special forces guy or or Navy SEAL, Navy SEAL. Yeah. And he tells these crazy stories of either like Dude, they're super crazy. True crime like, or like um yeah. yeah, they have ghosts in them and monsters and and all stuff. sorts of shit. It's so fucking awesome. I think he'd yeah. like it. Yeah. But it, it's yeah, I think I might have seen his channel. So watch a lot of those kinds of channels, yeah. yeah. Should do videos talking about that. You gotta make more videos uh, to sort of draw in people, you know. You don't watch live right. streams, and then hopefully they right. join the live. Oh, Sam has finally arrived. That's the thing. It's where it takes so fucking. It takes so long. Like it's there's, you could make all these videos to do, but I'm so lazy. And the live stream thing is like, yeah. hey, if you catch any knowledge off me, great. If you don't, sorry. then I'm sorry that I just look like some dude with hardcore ADHD. <laughs> it. But you can record videos in StreamYard, and the overlays aren't so hard to make if you get the free trial of Canva, so you can use all the things um, for Canva. How did you How did you make those screenshots, like the artwork? Yeah, you, just, and the... you have to. Um, uh, there's a background remover tool if you pay for Canva, or if you get the free mm -hmm. trial for a month. Mm -hmm. And so you can just remove the background, so you've just got the figure, and then you make it like a YouTube thumbnail. Then it's the right size for the screen, hmm. and you stick it wherever you want. And the like and subscribe, you just go to Elements and do YouTube like and subscribe, and you see all the different ones you can use. There's loads of different buttons you can use. That's interesting. That in as well. And then you put it, and you have to save it with a transparent background, and uh, right. then you save it as an overlay in Streamyard, and then yeah, they just. Because if I click to the brand tab, you can't see it, can you? Uh, you you guys, I guess, can see it, but they're in my brand tab. There's the overlays bit. But you just you oh. got to save it, make a YouTube thumbnail, and save it with a transparent background, and have it positioned wherever you want it to go on the screen. I have a question for you. Covers back, I haven't thought about how I would do it for once when there's guests on, because it, usually it's just me on the screen, and like that just appears down in the corner. But right, yeah, I did the text one. Could you leave that up? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Shut up, Daniel. Well, well, well. Squeaky, squeaky. Oh, yeah, squeaky. You can sort of see. Oh, that's a good it. one. Yeah. yeah, I like that one. On the Charlie one's really huge, though. He takes up half the screen. No, yeah, that's yeah. Oh, holy <laughs> shit. Is Charles it... Manson compels you. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> see here. I was going to I was gonna ask you guys. All right, so... <coughs> Nancy, do you think, <coughs> and Paul and Daniel, do you guys think that Sharon was the the rope was around her? Was she even lifted off of the ground at all? Well, apparently, Corona did testify that she was hung. So yeah, they must have found. Yeah, even if it was, was just yeah. a little bit, or yeah, like... well, yeah, but it, like... but 
it could have been like post-mortem too. Whether it was alive too. or not is another question. Oh, that's right. It imagine. could have been post-mortem. Okay, that's right. Yeah, well, yeah that's she, what I'm talking about. I would that's have still saying. torn the muscles in her neck, given the evidence that she had been hung from her neck. They would have been able to tell sort of thing. I think they were... I don't I know, they did find claw marks on the rope, so the rope must have been pulled tight around her neck while she was alive, because she was able to claw at it, you know, so... Right. So, oh, she really? Oh, wow. Was alive, so there thing. was, yeah, there was rope the burns on her fingers? No, there's claw marks no. on, oh, on her neck. Oh, okay. So the rope was wow. pulled tight around her neck and she clawed at it. So she must have been alive, wasn't she? <coughs> so I choked hmm. on a bit of tea. That makes me, <coughs> that, that, that's making me th wonder now if she was alive yeah. when they did that or if... Yeah. So it must or... have at least been pulled tight for her to claw at it, mustn't it, while she was alive? So I right, yeah. she maybe not she completely died. stabbed to death, but she was still yeah. pulling at it. Could have been she holding died from the way dude, dude, that's I still think it's a crazy scene, man. Like, I, I mean, I know there was like, I know there was stuff going on, but it, you can just put them yeah, out there with one of the craziest ones, right? Yeah. So that's the thing. Talking about they different cigarettes all... in the chat now. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't have all been alive. It's if it was a, just the girls thing. and Tex to like yank her off the ground with that rope, because they yeah. need people to hold her, they'd need yeah. people to pull on the rope, and I then they need right. People it's gonna take a strong, it's gonna take a lot of strength to 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 you know pull someone up by the fucking neck. Yeah. And she's pregnant. So there's right. at least yeah. two of those girls needed to pull up. Yeah. So that's almost half your team there. Yeah, that's right. why Capone is talking about team A and team B or one and, and she'd be struggling as well. If she was alive when they did it, she would have been kicking and those were in the girls yeah. in the car still were very still, skinny. Yeah. Like, I, I think it would have taken more than just two girls. I, I still well, think well, that's what I'm saying. At minimum, Susan was core strong, though. Yeah. I think she was core yeah. strong, but not to like yank. Oh no, not to yank like no, no, not to Sharon yank. Tate up. No, yeah. no, not not to yank a body that's pregnant like that. No, that would have taken yeah. a lot more force. Yeah. So it'd be Kasabian as well. But she doesn't look much stronger, does she? But women's muscles are deceptive though, because they tend to be more long and thin. Do you know what I mean? So she could be more muscular than what I just she, I mean, I just think sort of. Susan was just like a, a, a yoga instructor, core strong, not like muscular yeah. or heavy lifting strong. I think she yeah. was more like a meth head. That like from like East Hastings in Vancouver, that was like that could lift a car. I don't think they did um, move Sharon after her death, but they it seems that they must have carried her back in. <laughs> they must have carried her back in from the outside, so she was uh, alive when they dragged her back into the house. Obviously, yeah, but because otherwise there would have been more trails. If she was walking when they took her back into the living room, there would have been trails, wouldn't there? So I think they there picked would have her been up. Do why do people they, ever they show up? The blood many... being smeared all over her body as well. I think this, the blood smeared on her body because no. she'd already been stabbed outside. And when they picked her up by the arms and legs, it smeared all over her body, sort of thing. But I don't think she was moved significantly after she died. I think she was stabbed in the living room and fell down there and, and was pretty much left in the spot where she died. It's Jay Sebring who was moved. Jay Sebring. It looks you like he was so. left outside. I think that, that Sharon like was. Screen. I but think Sharon was so stabbed on the porch. Outside. Yeah, Sorry. definitely was stabbed outside, though, because there's the thing by the bush and on yeah. the porch, like significant amounts of blood splatter. But by the yeah. bush, there's like a pool of blood, as if she fell down and bled significantly. And yeah. again, there's a bit think, of a drag mark in it. Yeah, I think that they I think that they killed her outside, and I think they brought her in after. Mm. And this parting, the hanging thing was part of staging yeah. the scene. Yeah. I don't think Tex brought the rope. I think that yeah. whoever came next the team B later on yeah. <laughs> whatever fucking came and brought the rope and yeah. did all that stuff. Cause yeah, it was said that when they were trying to string Jay up, he made a moaning noise. So they thought he was still alive and everyone freaked out and they dropped him. And when they dropped him, Sharon's body also fell back down again. And so they just abandoned the idea of le leaving them hanging and they shot they Jay shot again. again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause they thought he was alive. But actually, dead bodies, if they squeezed him as they were picking him up, dead bodies can make what sounds like a weird moaning noise when you move them oh, out. <laughs> air escaping from them or something, so whether he would have still been alive or not, who knows. Mm -hmm. No, but I did notice his pants are down in pictures on the lawn. 
certain pictures <laughs> don't on the lawn. Don't even start, Paul. So. Don't that start that rumor. Apparently they pulled them up. No, it's not. The, don't. The, 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 it's just to like to show that like Billy Doyle thing, right? To point to Billy Doyle. They did, yeah. It's in the <laughs> um in the uh, bloody autopsy reports. They checked the wrong for that. Yeah, no sperm. Oh, there. right. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. did check everyone nope. for that, yeah. Watertight. I think they did for Kowski as well, yeah, yeah. And they checked parent as well. That's gross. That's gross. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> loving it. Yeah. Danielle, is, I think, might be even grossed out up there. Nope. Probably not. <laughs> no, I don't get grossed out by stuff like that. No. Nope. She's into the bubble gum. My talk back on. <laughs> on that note i'm gonna run for the yeah. night i work okay. early yeah. in the morning but yeah i won't go for a full hour i don't think yeah because like i say it's only five in the morning here i'll, get to yeah, no I'll start go for a bit longer yeah because there's people yeah. here thank I'd you probably... again nancy yeah. for having us on and don't yeah. let paul and beckham ruin your after show yeah yeah thanks for coming and i'll make sure that everyone's channels are linked in the description of that previous stream awesome yeah. Good night, everyone. Yeah. Good night. Yeah. Good night. I'll probably I'll probably be taken off in 15 minutes to make sure that uh, Satan himself, or otherwise known as my child, is gone to bed. Yeah. Yeah. Don't call him that. The attempted yeah. mess hanging a message. It yeah, was. So. Well, they were trying to divert attention from it being them. So yeah. I think yeah, it was. It was just and Jay Sebring. There was loads of everyone knew Jay Sebring liked to hang himself and like choke him. Yeah, that's him. right. Like, that's right. Yeah. So I think they were just trying to make it look as if it was something to do with all that, you know. So, so okay, the so they, they were, were trying to make it look at yeah. like that, like all that. Yeah. Then they had to have known them. They had to have known that's what, their, the what they were into. Right. They were familiar to them, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. They were familiar with them. They had to yeah. have been. They weren't strangers. Well, they, they were, were too close connected, and the drug right. scene and like the the right. yeah. the scene in general there yeah. is mm -hmm. like is so small. A scene in general right. anywhere is so small. Right. Anywhere, like music or entertainment or anything, you end up just knowing a bunch of people. That's a yeah. good point, um, Nancy. They had to have known each other. Yeah. Well, and also the stuff I read in the Mama Cass's biography when I read that out. Um, it's like they talk about how they were just like any other hippie commune. There was nothing to differentiate them. So they did just no. hang out with people. And everyone obviously distanced themselves as soon as the murders happened. No one wanted to admit they knew them. But right, Susan Atkins is supposed to have spent loads of time hanging out at Mama Cass's house and raiding her right. fridge and all that. And um, Billy Doyle was supposed to have been engaged to Mama Cass. And Bernard Crow lived in the same road as Mama Cass. You know, I know. Like, and Neil Young is one of the only people that will admit, you know, that he sat with the girls and they sang songs and all this sort of stuff. But loads of people knew them, you know. Yeah, well, they for knew sure. Everyone. And there's rumours that there was porn of uh, Sebring and Susan in it. I think it's meant to be Sebring. With Fuck. Susan. Wouldn't that yeah. be something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Someone's just said that in the chat as well. Didn't he have a relationship? Oh, yeah, there, had, there was a video of... Uh, Atkins, because it's uh, Neil Sanders brings it up in his book, because someone mm -hmm. brings it up, says to him, uh, "We heard that there was porn of Susan and Fikowski. and he said no, and Charles Manson said no, you got the wrong one, meaning it right. was Sebring, basically, yeah, it's Sebring that she was, yeah, and it's like she loves sucking dick was the only comment, so it must oh, be right. uh, blowing. There was Sebring. a bunch, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that quote was funny. Yeah. That girl loves sucking days. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, that was what John Manson said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had a way with words, man. Yeah, that yeah. guy. The opposite. Oh, she can play some of the clips now as well. The, the weird clips. Yeah, right uh, Squeaky yeah, Fromey and Phil Hartman went to the same school. Yeah. Really? That's crazy. Yeah. Oh shit. Sorry, a lot of but... smart people and a lot of smart uh, artistic people, man. Yeah, I'm just reading Squeaky's book now. Yeah. I enjoyed it more than I thought it would. It was good. Diane Lake's book still hasn't arrived, though. I'm going to have to contact the seller soon because it was dispatched in December and it hasn't fucking arrived. Diane Lake's book? Yeah, I ordered Diane Lake's <clears throat> book as well. Yeah. Really? Yeah, and that shouldn't be yeah. that hard to get. That's fucking yeah. weird that it's yeah, taken well, so long. I can't believe Squeaky's one arrived pretty far. <coughs> that Squeaky's book. Squeaky's one arrived within a couple of days of ordering it. 
fucking uh what's it again um diane lake's book i yeah. i'm not as hard on that book as a lot of people are i, I mean the helter skelter yeah. stuff is is the helter skelter stuff but as yeah. far as like different like things to do with the crime and the yeah. or not the crime but crime going on around and the pimping and the way that the commune was and the way that pe she showed that like girls were getting mistreated in every fucking commune there yeah well don't like as well that's the interesting thing about her and the social history aspect of this case that's the other thing about this case it brings up you know why did these women become so violent because the 60s it was women were ch were treated weirdly for the you know in a different way for the first time and a lot of women like in reacted badly to it or freaked out or whatever you know it's been like, given all these amphetamines. Girls, young girls were just being given speed pills by their doctors because they want to lose weight or they want to stay up late to study or whatever. Yep. Mm -hmm. Kasabian had been prescribed them by a doctor. Mama Cass had been prescribed them by a doctor from a teenage being a teenager. Mm -hmm. I think I think probably Leslie had as well. Well, and also trying to traverse yeah. that it was like all of a sudden <coughs> women's liberation. Yeah. It goes from don't don't let anybody know you're having sex or you're a whore to yeah. if you don't have sex with me you're a prude which yeah, is like it. basically yeah, yeah. a similar comic connotation just the other side <laughs> of the coin so it was right. basically still like yeah. dudes like pushing yeah. pushing their shit but yeah. which is really it's ridiculous but yeah but not to like say that girls right. weren't like yeehaw i can fucking yeah. have sex now because why not but it seems more like it was liberating for men, doesn't it? You know, it was easier to get women to do it because before you had exactly. to your reputation, so it was hard to have sex with a woman, wasn't it, without getting married to her? Yeah. But, like, suddenly they, they could, like, say, oh, well, why don't you want to have sex with me? Are you uncool or whatever? You know what I mean? Are you, like, yeah. not, not, you know, open-minded? Can you not let go of your ego? Here, take this, you know, fucking... That sort of thing was going on, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. Diane Lake's story because her parents just let her go with any commune she chose in that, weren't it? Yeah, yeah. No, they were they fucking let that commune, yeah. the pig farm, boot her out basically because yeah. she was a young, young girl and all these yeah. older dudes wanted to nail her. And yeah. the, the people at the pig farm were like, Oh, we don't like that. And so yeah. they had to get rid of her. But they were yeah. like, It was weird, man. It was weird. They were doing all sorts of fucked up shit, and like her grandpa. Yeah. You'll see when you get the book. There's like some nasty shit that went on there. <laughs> yeah. 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 But so it's important to understand the, you know, the girls, uh, the, the background to it and why these women acted the way they did. Because fucking things were really fucked up around them. Lots of really weird shit was going on around them. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you can't compare it to what it would be like now if these situations occurred now, sort of thing, you know, because. Like yeah. it, it was just a really messed up time for young women. You know? The thing that's interesting too, that's another interesting thing is the like us in this time hearing Diane Lake did acid when she was really young is like yeah. shocking, right? Yeah. But a lot of those, like you just said, a bunch of people were were doing stuff like that to giving stuff like that to their kids too. It wasn't yeah. just Diane Lake, Diane Lake's parents. There's other people. Who I know of who were in communes well, who like Mackenzie Phillips books, who's uh John Phillips' daughter, the one he had the yeah. incestuous relationship with. Her book is like really quite harrowing, sort of thing, in that way. Yeah, but the, the progressive parenting thing was you just let your kids run wild, you just let them do whatever they wanted. Yeah, so like they but they all felt really like neglected, obviously, because no one ever knew where they were or anything like that, you know. So it's like it just gave, yeah, them and they thought that they were being good parents by letting you run free, but actually, you were just fucking neglecting. Your kids and they was going out and getting into all sorts of trouble and getting raped and getting drugged up by old weirdos and like charles yeah. manson you know what i mean fucking angela <laughs> lansbury signed a note so our kids could go with charles manson for fuck's sake you know yeah right but that shows how convincing he was and how clean they must have all looked initially and it explains why you know celebrities did hang around with them well i think a lot of yeah. i think more than more than him being like able to talk her into it i think like like you say, a lot of the free hippie parenting sort of thing. Yeah. The kids are like, she comes in with, uh, what's it? Um, Angela Lansbury's daughter comes in with Nancy Pittman. It's like, mom, we're going to go traveling yeah. with these blah, 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 blah. Like, All right. Yeah. 
here you go have a good time like i don't yeah, know I if she knew good. manson i don't know if it was yeah but it's it seems like a lot of stuff is and it's and it shocks me every time i hear more like more stories that are like things in this story that shocked me before when yeah. i realized that it's not just happening there like with uh yeah, being... this thing was widespread because people look at Charles Manson like he was a monster because he had sex with underage girls. But yeah. like it was happening everywhere. They all were doing it. It's really horrifying. The scale Everybody it. was doing it. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. they were trying to be, you know, if I can change, you know, the fabric of society. And they were trying to think, they thought that if they did it, one day it would become acceptable. Whatever, you know, society would just accept it. Luckily, it didn't fucking catch on, did it? But <laughs> Yeah. But they thought, you know, because Hollywood always they always think that they can influence everyone, don't they? Because they do, because people copy the styles of their hair or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. that Vito Polikas guy gave his three-year-old acid. Gross. That's insane. Yeah. Is that the king of the freaks? That's the king of the freaks guy? Yeah. Yeah. They yeah, reckon children's brains don't really respond to it very much. But I think... Yeah, there's some somebody documentary who... about the first Isle of White festival. They, they must be on YouTube. There's a documentary, and it's actually filmed, you know, by a camera crew at the time. And there's a guy being interviewed there, and he's got a kid with him that looks about to be about, uh, I'd say, about eight or nine, a boy. Yeah. And he said, and he, the kid's just sitting there staring, and he says, "Oh yeah, I gave him acid when he was about six, but yeah, he didn't really respond to it. I think kids are already tripping all the time, anyway. So I think nothing really happened." Oh my the god. The kid looks like it's seen some shit, you know what I mean? I think something did happen. Yeah. <laughs> I know somebody who did acid when they were eleven. Yeah. No and way, dude. Yeah, and they I mean wow. as far as it changing, like he I don't know, it didn't really change him that that much. I well, I'm sure it did, but not that's, anything yeah, that was like, I, I oh my know, god, yeah, he became because he was like a preppy dude at the end yeah. of the day. He didn't end up being like a hippie or anything like that. He no. was just doing it with all the party guys and all the rowdy kids. Because yeah. his sister was older. Yeah, it depends how high a dose you have and all that as well. Hopefully, yeah, he just didn't wasn't given too much, too high a dose, nope. so just didn't have that much of an effect on him. Because yeah, most people can handle it, but it's, it also so if you've got an mental illness, you can make it worse. Yeah, I I know two people who did. I know somebody who did acid when they were ten, and somebody yeah. who did acid when they were eleven. And they, I mean, the guy I know when he did it when he was eleven got in yeah. trouble, but not like because of that. There was there was a bunch mm. of stuff going on. It wasn't like. He was normal, and then he got acid, and then he was fucked up. But I also mm -hmm. know somebody that um, it kicked in their schizophrenia. And yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're yeah. taking a chance, yeah. dude. When you, yeah, you're taking a chance. Your your brain yeah. barely works. Yeah. It barely functions, and we play Russian roulette with it all the time. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. And if you have a bad trip as well, you can get a form of post-traumatic stress disorder. I forget what it's called, the exact word for it, but they used to call the people acid casualties. But oh, yeah, you can have a flashbacks to the bad trip mm -hmm. that you had constantly. Question yeah. about Harry, totally on a different, sub different subject. I don't know, I probably won't read his book. But I actually support him. I think that like, in the way his family have treated him has always been shit. But I don't agree yeah. that we should have a royal family. I think we should elect a head of state. We want our head, because that doesn't mean that we have to, you know, have a president. We could still have a head of state, but we should elect a president, a uh, 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 head of state, instead of having breeding a family of people like this. Because look how fucked up it makes them. You know, it's just it's not right, fair on them. Sure. Yeah, you know? they're and they're yeah, they're fucked. In... And they're born uh, and told from the minute they're born, you know, oh, you're the future king or queen or whatever. You know what I mean? If they are the one in line. But as soon as uh, the new, I think it's uh, George, the, the the next in line, William's firstborn son. Uh, they they were calling him the future king when she's showing him on the hospital steps when he's newborn. So for fuck's sake, like, yeah, um, oh yeah, you know, like in, don't stand a chance. You know, walk, yeah, before you're told you you know you're the king. 
but yeah, well, it is bad how, how they treat him, how they treat Harry, but, you know, there's a lot that they don't fucking want to come out about them. Right. Needed a place to say it, you know, just, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up dying in a car crash in a tunnel somewhere or soon or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. Out, yeah. Oh, my God, but, imagine. Jesus. I remember yeah. when that happened. I was, I was in yeah. Vancouver. Mm. And, it was quite uh, funny actually because um, it was a Sunday, weren't it? So I hadn't um, put on the telly or anything, and I worked in this phone canvassing office. I used to have to go and sit on the phone and phone people and try and get them to go to a timeshare exhibition. It was a terrible job. Yeah. And I walked into the office and I hadn't put the radio or the TV on at all. And there was the guy I sat down next to was like the office joker. He was always telling fanciful stories. And I sat down next to him and he said, well, what do you think about Princess Diana dying in a car crash, in a car smash in Paris then? And I said, oh, fuck off, Paddy. I didn't believe him. He had to go and get yeah. the office manager to tell me that Princess Diana had really died in a car crash. Right. And it was a nightmare. Uh, fucking ringing people on that day because everyone was freaking out. Obviously, in England, everyone was fucking crying and freaking out. You know, how right. could you ring us at a time like this? <laughs> we were all... Always... We were all in shock. We were just like, because we're, I mean, I guess we're, the Queen's on our money. That about counts. Yeah. And we're called British Columbia, but that's about yeah. where the buck stops. Mm. Um, but it was, yeah, it shook tons of people. Yeah, well, I, I didn't believe it when someone initially told me. I thought he was joking sort of thing. Yeah, I couldn't believe that they let her die. And there's a oh the documentary that uh, Keith Allen of all people made an actor called Keith Allen mm -hmm. uh, called oh death oh fucking hell because her, <coughs> her fucking um, her cause of death wasn't what people think it was uh, it, it was ruled uh, like death by misadventure or something like that people are and that's what he calls it uh but yeah her being chased down by the paparazzi that that was misleading sort of thing basically I, I can't remember what they bloody called her death but it wasn't caused by the paparazzi that wasn't what the uh uh fucking inquest actually found oh interesting. And, uh, yeah and there's also a weird thing they that the, they got her into the ambulance and they held the ambulance by the side of the road for about an hour and they said she was too unstable to move. And that just sounds insane because paramedics are trained to work on people while they move. You'd think, think they'd have rushed her to the hospital. But they kept her yeah. in the ambulance by the side of the road for ages. So it's like they were waiting for her to die before they took her to the hospital sort of thing. Jesus. And apparently she's supposed to have been still alive in the car. The paparazzi were leaning in the car and talking to her. And she was responding to them. So she was actually still awake and talking in the car. What and the then fuck? they moved her to the ambulance. They kept her in the ambulance by the side of the road for about an hour before they take her to the hospital and she's dead. So something fucking weird went on there, you know what I mean? It was like they made sure she was dead, definitely made sure she died. Sort of. Right. Jodie yeah. Alfire probably died straight away. Yeah. What do you think yeah. about the uh, <clears throat> the guy who survived the bodyguard? Because he's yeah, come oh, out. The and driver, talk. yeah, he was all fucked up. He bit his tongue out. He fucking apparently, yeah, fucking bit his tongue out. Yeah. Which is a weird injury to get, isn't it? But yeah, but he was, they, they reckon that they used the trick, you know, when they flash a light in the driver's eyes. They reckon yeah. they probably did that because there was a rumor of another car, isn't there? That yeah. was burnt out in a field a few days later. The white Peugeot or whatever the fuck it was, yeah. I don't know a ton about the 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 like mm. the other story of the uh, of the Diana crash. Got to try and look up the title of that. You, film you guys think it was a conspiracy? I have no idea. Oh, I definitely no. I think all. yeah, the real family had a bumped off. Mm. Hmm. Wasn't he also drunk and on coke though? Is what uh, Capone asks the driver there. Yeah, they reckon he was drunk, yeah. But they drink a lot in fucking France. It's Unlawful Killing, that's what it's called. The film is called Unlawful Killing. Yeah, if I share the tab. They said the this driver like... had no alcohol in his system. They said he did have CO2 in his system, though. Yeah. Camilla did it. <laughs> yeah. Look at his, uh... Have her bumped <laughs> off. <laughs> 
Philip did it. There's that on the screen now, it should be. Unlawful Killing, that documentary, if you can find it. It got banned in the UK, but that goes all the way into it, yeah. Did you guys put Watts on the case? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to check that out right now. What, this yeah. book? No, it's a film. <clears throat> it's a film, yeah. Keith oh. Allen made it. Hmm. But that's what her inquest actually found. It wasn't an accident caused because the paparazzi were chasing her. It was fucking unlawful killing, so they decided that she was killed. Weird. Yeah. It shows Howard Stern in it. What? But the fuck? she. <laughs> but she wrote um, boy, a letter dude. to one of her friends saying, "I think that they're planning to kill me in accident <coughs> in my car." Imagine that. She actually wrote that in a letter to her friends, and then she fucking dies in a car crash. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Oh hey, I think it might be on YouTube. Oh, if the whole thing's on YouTube, that'll be good. Yeah, I think, yeah, watch yeah, I, think that. I found it. Yeah. Here, check this out. See if it works. I have a, I have a um, wrench thing here, right? Yeah. If you post the, the, oh, I can't click a link from in here though, can I? Uh, you no, send it to me on Facebook Messenger. I'll, yeah. Some of the links on Facebook works. Messenger. Then I can open it. Can I? I've got to go in like five minutes, Nancy. Yeah, yeah, sure, I should go anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, don't worry about um, it, yeah, because I want to go because it's five past five. I was only going to go till five in the morning. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Nancy, get, coming, some, get, Nancy, get some sleep. Yeah, I've got it, yeah, but I don't have to get up till like later in the day. Yeah, well, uh, uh, I'll share it in the group, definitely, in the Facebook group. That that'll... In case people are interested. Yeah, that takes yeah. you to the... Uh the the one hour and 18 minute video that i found yeah it's definitely worth watching it's very like revealing and they interviews dodi al fayad's <coughs> father a lot Mohammed al fayad and all that and you find out a lot about oh him. okay yeah because yeah. they were pissed off that she was going out with dodi al fayad basically yeah right yeah. yeah anyway yeah let's end the stream now anyway so it's too late isn't it <laughs> all right oh, well, oh, thank oh, you for sure having us it. Yeah, I'll share it in my Facebook group, Lisa. Um, when I've got the link, probably tomorrow now, because yeah, I've got to go to bed, but I will remember to share it. I'll yeah. put it, if if you just wait one sec, I'll put it in the uh, in the. And if you're in the podcast chat group, yeah, here. Oh, the yeah, chat, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it'll be clickable Sweet. if you're a moderator, yeah. Here you go. Anybody who wants to check it out, here is Have you watched 8, it? 000. Oh, 280. Oh, sorry. The link's too long. So, yeah, it'll be in one of our Facebook pages. Yeah. And uh, have you watched it, Paul? Not yet, but I'm going to yeah. probably yeah, as soon as we leave it. here. You're going to watch yeah. JFK. God. I'm watching that Oliver Stone one with uh, yeah. the wife. She wants to watch it too. So, it's yeah. going to happen. That's on the back <laughs> end the of the movie. You're going to kill you know me. that, right? <laughs> That's, you know, that's on the back end of the movie. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you're gonna watch it backwards. Okay. I know. I love. I love it. It's like Memento. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good night, y'all. Join the It's fucking too tired and too late in it. Yeah. Good night, everyone. Thanks for coming. Good night. Thank you. And yeah. Bye. Like and subscribe. Good night. <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs> <clears throat> end. <laughs>